The weather is not only tough on the kids, but first responders, firefighters in Stratford battling a fire in a condo complex. News Ace Amy Hudak is live in New Haven with the challenges that they faced. Amy. Well, it was another day of oppressive heat and humidity. Then imagine you're a firefighter wearing about 75 pounds of gear and running into a burning building. That was exactly what happened to crews in Stratford. You can imagine they became exhausted pretty quickly, and it became a dangerous situation for them as well. Plumes of thick black smoke fill the air in Stratford. I've never seen so many fire trucks and ambulances. Flames tearing through the second and third floors of Success Hills condos. A neighbor saying she watched a woman jump from the second floor with her baby. We had some injuries, people trying to evacuate the building, jumping from the second floor. They were transported to local hospitals. More than 50 people now without a home, at least one family losing their cat. Other animals still missing. Devastating. Devastating. I was just heartbroken, you know, because I know a lot of people in the building. One firefighter taken away in a stretcher to be treated for smoke inhalation. Others zapped of their energy in the oppressive heat. They wore cool, wet towels on their heads and found some relief next to misting fans. You know, all heat related injuries, uh, you know, it's, it's 100 degrees out with high humidity. The firefighters wear all their gear, uh, the heavy air pack, the tools. It is almost 100 degrees, and you can pass out just from the heat alone. Over at East Rock Park in New Haven, families stayed in the shade with a cooler close by. Here it is cooler because the trees and up in the, in the middle of the town, you can stay there. It's too hot. You cannot be there. It's really hot. And despite his fur coat, little Jackson didn't mind the mercury climbing. Doing some trips up to East Rock always helps. A little breeze up here with Jackson. I'm an air conditioner girl. He's a pool boy. <laughs> Such a little cutie, that Jackson. As for that fire in Stratford, the Red Cross is helping all of those families that are now without a home as crews continue to investigate the cause of that fire. As for the early dismissals for school tomorrow, several of them have already come in. Schools continue to update that list, and we have all of it on WTNH.com and, of course, the News 8 app. For now, we're live in New Haven. Amy Hudak, News 8.